I got a comment from one of my subscribers that said, how do I recover after a tough match? You know, that match, it's a tough match. It's three sets. It's two to three hours and very intense. Um, you may wake up sore the next day. Now, there are things you can do to minimize that soreness. And number one, make sure you're consuming a lot of fruit and cut back on your fat consumption. That's going to eliminate soreness to a great degree. And remember, you know, if you can get back to training as soon as possible, maybe the next day, do some work on your short game, your touch game. Um, but, you know, the quicker that you can recover, the better you're going to be as a tennis player because you're going to be able to train and train harder sooner. Okay, so recovery is important. But how, how do you recover from any physical activity? The best way to recover is to do the same activity because then you're going to be using the same muscles and you're going to be working them not as intense, not as, as, not as hard, but by using them, it allows the lactic acid in the muscles to dissipate and to be eliminated. So, you know, go out and have a light hit. You know, just go out and shadow stroke, have a light hit with a buddy, and make sure you go through all of the motions that you did in the match. You want to get the blood flowing and get that lactic acid out of the muscles. So you're, you're, you're going through everything. I mean, even if you don't go to the court, you can do it just with your hand. I mean, just pretend that you're hitting the ball and bending, you know, that's going to be key you know, as if you're hitting those shots. So that's number one. You want to do the same activity, but do it not as intense, a light workout, but it may be a good time to work on your, um, your short, your, uh, okay, how can I say this? Your, sh your touch game, your feel game. Okay, so, Work on your slice around the net. You know, a great game to play with um, your hitting partner is mini tennis. Use the two uh, service boxes and just play mini tennis. Great game to, uh, you know, the day after a tough match. So you're, you're going through, you're bending, you're going through the same motions and uh, using the same muscles. That's gonna be key for recovery. Now, the other thing you wanna do is stretch. I'm gonna show you some basic stretches that you wanna do after the next day after a tough match. Okay, no doubt that uh, you know your legs are gonna be sore, your hips. So there's two stretches that I want you to do. Number one, the pigeon. You're going to bring your one leg in front. You're going to cross it over. Stretch this, the other leg back. And you want to be up as straight as possible. And you're getting a tremendous stretch on the IT band. It goes into the glutes. And you want to hold these stretches. I've changed my uh, view of stretching a little bit. I, I mean, I still think that... Um, Two to three second stretches, dynamic stretches are excellent. But um, with this, I like to hold it to three or four minutes, hold the stretch and just breathe into it, relax. And you're gonna get a nice stretch there. Now you're gonna do that of course on both sides. And then I want you to go into the frog where you're going to bring your legs out this way and then you're going to push back from the hips 
let the glutes go back and you, again you're going to hold this one three or four you know two to four minutes let's say this can be very tough okay especially when you push the torso back okay and you stay up nice and straight straight line on the back but those two are going to be crucial for you as a tennis player okay the pigeon and the frog you want to do those two for sure now there's another one of course that's very good i like to use this okay and push the knees out and again you're going to hold this for two to four minutes <laughs> so it's not it's not easy and just hold it out push those knees out so that um, those are the three basics that I like and then you want to of course stretch out the quads so I like this one again you know the routine two to four minutes and of course you're doing both sides all the time so those are your basics for the lower body now for the upper body I like shoulder dislocates okay for the shoulder dislocates you need a resistance band and basically you're just gonna stretch out your shoulders and go all the way around You're going to do at least 10 or 12 of these, maybe a couple of sets, keeping the shoulders nice. This one also is great where you're just letting that resistance band open up the chest. Um, great for your slice backhand. Just relax and breathe into it. And then you want to target the triceps with the old standard here just reach down your back as far as you can and pull that elbow up that's going to be great for the tricep and you're going to do that on both sides of course so those are your basic stretches and you know as i mentioned you want to consume fruit fruit as much as you can it's going to replace that muscle glycogen and uh, you're going to recover so much better. Your, your soreness will be so minimized. I'm at the point now where I, I don't feel that sore anymore after I play because I'm on a high fruit diet. And uh, vegetables and nuts and seeds and avocados, of course. But fruit predominates. Okay, remember, as I explained in the recovery videos, your best recovery foods the number one recovery food on the planet is going to be fruit okay so right after you play the hard match eat some fruit whatever it might be bananas oranges grapes pineapples eat fruit you're going to restore that muscle glycogen quickly you have that two hour window but now we're talking about the next day continue to consume fruit as much as you can so here's a quick example I'm not even going to make this today but here's all you need it's this simple you take some bananas okay now these remember let your bananas get the brown freckles you want spots on your bananas that is going to make sure that the sugar is readily available and you're you're going to you know restore that muscle glycogen like that now leafy greens okay this is a 50 50 blend <clears throat> in here i've got baby spinach and baby lettuces 
tons of protein in here if you're worried about protein. Remember Popeye, right? Spinach, much better than meat or chicken or fish. Spinach, because it's in the form that's readily available for us. The amino acids are there and you're getting that protein. So what I'm gonna do, what I would do today, I'm not gonna do it, but I would put, put five or six bananas in my trusty Vitamix, five or six bananas. This might be a nice little uh, lunch Depending on how much activity I have in the afternoon, I may put more bananas. I could do eight, 10, I've done 12, up to 12 bananas in a smoothie. It sounds like a lot, but you know, you nurse it, you drink it slowly, and it gives you tremendously long uh, sustained energy. So I'm gonna put, let's say, if I just wanna medium lunch, I don't have much planned for the afternoon, five or six bananas, two or three handfuls of the leafy greens, and some water. That's it. Blend it up, drink it down. <clears throat> That's gonna be great for your recovery. Now, if you wanted to, you could add a little fat. You could throw in some hemp seeds, some chia seeds, or some flax seeds, um, almond butter, tahini, you could put that in there, but don't go crazy with the fat. Remember, you've gotta keep that down. No more than 10% of your daily calories. So as an example, if you're having 2,000 calories, you're only gonna get, you only want to get 200 of those calories from fat, 10%. Once you go up above that, you're, you're going to be compromising oxygen uptake and sugar uptake to the cells and the oxygen uptake to the cells. So that's it, that's a good smoothie. Keep eating the fruit and you're going to be amazed at how well you recover. All the best, guys. Take care. And, oh, by the way, please subscribe to the channel. Give me a like. That really helps me out a lot. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, I look forward to answering any questions or comments you have. All the best to your tennis success. Take care.